Welcome to Virtual True Libra. I'm Ava. And I am Trudy. And welcome to the month of July. Mm-hmm. We are underwater. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking this month a little bit about the Cup Queens. Yes. Which you are not one of those. However, you may uh, show characteristics of the Cup Queen. You may have a rising or a moon, which is of the cups. So, go so to, please go there too. Yeah, go to our site, take our quiz. See who you are. And uh, all of the qualities that are exemplified by the Cup Queens will become evident to you. She is mm-hmm. the queen of the heart, of queen intuition. Of Queen of love, queen of intuition, queen of self-understanding and empathy. Right. So. So, what do we do here, Trudy? We do a four-card spread here, Ava. (laughs) (laughs) The first card represents uh, the overall energy of the month for you. And? The second card represents challenges or things that might trip our little Libran friends up. And the third card is the unexpected surprise. And the fourth card represents the outcome. And after that, we will wrap it all up in a tidy little narrative. And give Tie you a little, nice ribbon around it. A little spiritual counsel after that. Mm-hmm. And then we'll send all of our little Librans on their way. So, so. we're going to move into last month's recap. You had quite the exciting reading last month in the month of June. And I want to add that Libra is second best they have well actually Libra is one of our best best uh, fan best fans and I gotta say Pisces overtook Scorpio and Libra's in the second place it's a race thank you very much Libra for your viewership and for your loyalty Mm -hmm. we love you very much for that and we say you watch because you always get the love readings and last month what did you get another love reading Mm mm-hmm well, sort of, kind of. And we dubbed it the Runaway Bride reading. Yes, because you weren't quite certain you wanted to be there at the altar, so we advised you to wear a short bridal gown so that you could run whenever you needed to. <laughs> yes, so, or whatever situation it is. Whatever situation it is. If you, What were the cards? The first card was the Eight of Wands. In the upright. Ones, upright. Yes, so that was in the overall environment position. We had said, what a great card for you, Libra, because it's such an energetic card, and it really lent a lot of energy to the month. Right. Um, the arrows of love could be represented by this card. It is momentum. Ava had called it, like, passionate thrust. A thrusting forth. Mm-hmm. So things are thrusted forth in the month of June. Could be air travel. Air travel, travel in general, or it could just be a great deal of travel locally Mm -hmm. as well. Movement. Because remember we had that two of wands and you guys were trying to sort of plan out your next move after the magician in May. So there was a lot of movement. Yeah. In the next position, however, we had a kind of a surprise. The four of cups in the upright. This is the young man sitting underneath the Bodhi tree. He's being offered a cup of love or joy or an offer. And he's not quite sure that he's really ready to accept a fourth cup. So you're offered something and you're you're just uh, really deeply thinking about whether you really want to do that or accept that or participate in that. You don't know if your heart's in it. And your challenges might be just your boredom Mm -hmm. by... Whatever's going on. Whatever's going on. you're not quite sure whether this is the thing that's going to enliven you emotionally or not. Next position was the Knight of Wands reversed. So this could be you, this could be your significant other, uh, this could just be momentum, but Knight of Wands in the upright is sort of an impulsive, fiery, showy card, but in the reverse it's magnet. Magnified. All right. Yes. It's magnified. In other words, it's uh, almost downright arrogance. <laughs> it is downright arrogance. Yes. Yeah, so you're you're so um, or someone self-pleased, is pleased. Let's just say self pleased mm-hmm. that this can become uh, like a peacock. Mm-hmm. I see it as a peacock. And it's unexpected. You're unexpectedly 
Showing off. Showing off in some way. Ava called it bold cockiness. Bold cockiness. <laughs> How could cockiness be anything but bold? I don't know. But anyway, in the last position, we had another interesting card because if it were a love reading, this would be a sort of a new marriage contract card. It was the Hierophant in reverse. reverse. So what is the Hierophant in the upright? It is tradition. It can represent marriage. It can represent um, organized religion. You join a commune. It's the opposite. <laughs> it's the hippy-dippy card. Hippy-dippy. You, you join that, uh, you know, circus that comes to town. <laughs> right. You do something. You take of off with the circus. That's what you do. Out of the ordinary. You do something out of the ordinary. Yeah, out of the box. Yes. Uh, this is not what society would bless as... I've always wanted to be a carny myself. The norm. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to, too. Maybe yeah. we should run off and join the circus. I think so. <laughs> they got monkeys, tigers, elephants. Guys in leotards. Guys in leotards. Why not? Okay. Who else can offer that? <laughs> there you go. You're wearing a leotard this month. All right. So, so let's go and move toward July. I've got to say, Libra readings are fascinating. They are. You are quite a uh, uh, eclectic group. <laughs> You're like a force to be reckoned with, a right. force of nature. A even. force of nature. Yes. You never know because they have such a, a, a innocuous exterior. <laughs> They're so charming. They're so charming, but it, underneath that charm is a, a cauldron of fire. <laughs> Air. You just never know what's going to come know out of a God. Libra. No, you don't. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's see what's going on for you in the month of July. Because June was pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Although, June, you know, it was interesting. We had that Eight of Wands um, come for June. But, you know, June, Mercury was in retrograde. So, you got to wonder, like, was that some pent-up energy going on? Oh, it couldn't get it going? Well, we had the eight coming out of the gate, right, so right. maybe there was a little bit of a, like, uh, a constipation. Hiccup. Like a hiccup. <laughs> it's wand constipation. Wand constipation. Oh, God. We'll see. Look at magnesia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's I see. shuffled. Right in front of you, so don't tell me we didn't, because we did. Yes, she <laughs> we just did We get complaints it. that, oh, I didn't see you shuffling. Well, we're shuffling right there. Yeah. There we go. This is not and rehearsed, trust me. We're going to add the white light in front of you. Okay, watch and on your mobile devices. Boo. You can watch us in a lot of places, you and know, at the car wash. Send them some white light at home, because they need it. Yes. I don't know. They seem to be doing pretty well, okay. That's true. That's true. All, All right, right. Let's, let's see what's going on. Let's see if we get another love ahead. reading for you, Libra. Go ahead. All right. Whoa. This card wants to flip around. Strange. Oh, my gosh. It was reversed, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. I did, it, was, it spun so quickly. It I did it twice. It did it twice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're going to read it in reverse. We're, we're, going to, uh, we're going to read this as it came up. We're not quite sure if it was reversed or in the It's upright. reversing itself. It's reversing itself. So I think the energy is moving towards reversal. But it's still, remember they were stuck? Yes. And, and so maybe this is, it's trying very much to reverse right now. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let you read this. <laughs> King, King of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords. No, pardon me. Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah. So. If, follow me for a moment. And you're an air sign, so let's you're start with sign. that. You're, okay. This is you. This is you, yeah. This is your energy, because that's a night. It's movement, it's energy. Go ahead. You've been in training for a couple of months now. And you are chomping at the bit, as a horse would, to run. Run with your idea, run with your concept, run with the... The energy that's that's literally rolling up in you, but it's in reverse. So there's still something that's blocking this energy because the gates won't open yet. So you're going to feel pent up energy, 
and there might be a, a, some frustration because you don't have confidence in your idea you might not have confidence in your idea there's something pulling you back from running with it whatever that thing is it, yeah there's some negative thinking going on negative thinking you're you're analyzing it and you're saying well wait a minute if that then this so maybe we should rethink this mm -hmm. it's rethinking before you actually launch or it's not thinking <laughs> or and just it's, following through or with the launch yes it's it would um, go thoughtless, on very well with thoughtless, that eight of wands reverse. You can't, or that maybe that's wands. what it is. Maybe they can't keep the energy back anymore. Mm -hmm. And because it's been welling up so long, they just go ahead and impulsively mm -hmm. do what they wanted to do and not actually apply their reason mm -hmm. to You don't even actions. have an idea or a cause. You just go. You just go. And you don't care. Mm -hmm. You're, you're um, completely... Um, without remorse about it being fitting into any logical scheme you just want to do because this energy is there and it's, it's pushing up. you pushing on you to act oh. that would be like that no you had that upside down I did mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure are you sure mm -hmm. okay she's I'm watching you pull I, these, I'm and they sorry. keep trying to turn it. The All right, so so it's the two of cups. It's in the challenge position, and it's reversed. Okay, I get it. Okay, go ahead. When it is in the upright, you're challenged by a relationship of equals. When it's in the reverse. You're challenged by a relationship of unequals. You are, in some way, you feel um, either superior or inferior mm -hmm. in this relationship, mm -hmm. and your this this relationship is then challenging to you. Challenged, challenged to do what? To make it equal? Mm -hmm. To give this? To give equality to that? other individual uh, who's coming into contract with you, mm -hmm. so coming could into be, agreement with you. Could be a partnership, a business partnership, a business partnership. you can't kind of get it going because you can't like come with, up with some sort of mutually beneficial right. uh, agreement. Right, because you think one idea is superior to the your, your idea is better than their idea, or they think, they their, think idea. their idea is better than your idea. It's also a 50-50 sort of it's a fi agreement. Yeah. You're trying to come to a 50-50 uh, term of agreement. Yes, and if this is a love reading, because in this position we had the four, it could mean that someone is unhappy because there is no marriage on the table and there was the hierophant here so oh, this yeah. is also this represents marriage it represents contract it represents equal partnership mm -hmm. um, but just sort of meeting on the same level playing field yes and a meeting of the minds right so your challenge was a situation that doesn't feel equal in mm -hmm. some way but it's not you know the challenge is also you can't sort of find common ground right within this relationship you're not agreeing you're not in agreement you're not in agreement and yet you have this impulsive energy uh, driving you so your challenge is to write the partnership write it so that everyone is um, contributing equally to mm -hmm. it or they are in agreement about what to do Let's see. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah. So, unexpectedly, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a great card. So, for all of our Libran girlfriends out there, this basically means that unexpectedly, you're able to sort of sustain this beautiful environment um, that you've created. It also reminds me of, of a uh, woman who's a self-made woman or a woman who has inherited uh, a very nice 
estate, and she has a certain uh, stature within her community. And unexpectedly, for some reason, that comes to the forefront in the month of July. That becomes important. Your your social standing, your ability to take care of yourself. Um, and uh, also, the rewards of all your hard work. You glean or acquire the rewards for the steadfastness of your efforts and for all the sacrifices that you've made to achieve what you have you now can luxuriate in mm -hmm. you are given a respite a an, a, a, a reprieve a a, a, a Mm -hmm. it's a sanctuary. A sanctuary environment in which mm -hmm. you can rest and um, enjoy right. the rewards of all right. your hard work. Right. Wow. Okay, let's see what the last one is. Oh, very nice. So, okay, so at the end we have the Six of Swords, which is, again, this reading kind of reminds me of last month because here we are moving away from a difficult painful chaotic situation towards something that is a lot more serene which is all that Libra really mm -hmm. wants mm -hmm. harmony and balance you're moving you could actually you could. be physically yes. moving yes. and you could be moving toward this scenario yeah, the unexpected Mm hmm which could be maybe some some place or yeah. somebody you could move to a beautiful place mm hmm something that gives you a, a feeling of, of real um, support and beauty um, richness abundance and it's not expected that you're there but you 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 suddenly find yourself in that place and you can then, in this sanctuary, um, move away from the troubles, mm -hmm. the pressures, the stresses. Because this re this card, uh, to go back to the opening card, the Knight of Swords reversed always reminds me of a rebel without a cause. Right, right. That movie, where you're just rebellious for no reason. Right, right. And just, to, you know, it's kind of like this sort of attitude that you right. adopt. For some reason, in the beginning of the month, you're rebelling right. against broken contract. Someone or something. Just occurred to me that's also broken contract. Oh yes, it can be. It can be. Yeah, but then at the end, you've got this lovely environment that you're moving toward, mm -hmm. and it looks as if everything you're going to move through this mm -hmm. into the next month and. If it's a love reading, it could definitely mean that there is a breakup, mm -hmm. and unexpectedly there's, you know, movement toward, you know, being self-sufficient, right? Right, because she is a self-sufficient uh, uh, woman, mm -hmm. but uh, if it's about you looking for a, a new place, a new work environment, mm -hmm. a, new, a new setting, Yes. Uh, you're going to find it. Mm -hmm, because you're rebelling. Because you're rebelling. Yeah, you're, and, you've rebelled yeah. against something. Right. Okay. And that's it. Whew. All right. There you go. It ends well. It ends well. You can take care of yourself. Right. And you have help. You Somebody have help. Helps you. Yeah, you can move away from whatever it is that the you're turmoil. rebelling against. The turmoil. All right. Well. So there you go. There you go, Libra. Thank God. <laughs> Good, it's good end of the month. Yes. So if you, I would say, get the council card. I'm gonna push that again for all our air signs because it is a really awesome thing. And see, they're if racing. An, they're racing. And if you need an emergency card. reading, <laughs> oh, that's a good segue. <laughs> Do you need an emergency reading? I like that. <laughs> Go to AvaTrudy at virtualtarot.com. We have our own sound effects now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're organic. I like They're that. organic sound effects. So go there and uh, order a emergency reading. And if you get a chance... Otherwise, stand in line. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> if you get a chance. Trying. Um, so I think that's it, right? That's it. That's We're it. We're going to let you go, Libra. You had a good reading this month. Yes. And so you ran away, and all was well. All was well. You found yourself in some sort of palace somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and you always recover. So and thanks. you always recover. See you next month. See you next month. Bye, Libra. Okay. Bye.